Hi guys, welcome to Football Lions. My name is Richman. I tell you guys, we have this good news in this week. Just to let these two good players stay. And let's look at the first player, guys. Just are considering changing their position on Conor Gallagher and could now make an offer to agree a new contract with the midfielder instead of selling him. So guys, that is the first good news. Just considering changing their mind to let Gallagher stay. Guys, and some people are comparing Gallagher contract situation to Mason Mount last season. And it is not the same, guys. It is not the same. In fact, Mount own just put their contract on the table of Mount. Mount refused to sign. But this Gallagher own, guys, just haven't put any contract in front of Gallagher. And he refused to sign. No, just haven't submitted any contract to Gallagher. Yes. So that is the difference. And Gallagher, from his demeanor, he wants to stay. Gallagher himself wants to stay. So he's waiting for the right offer or the right contract to come. So that he renew his contract and will move on. And that is good from just board. Gallagher is relentless. Good player. Having the potential. In fact, last season, he almost played every game for Chelsea. He hardly get injured. And big teams, you don't sell these kind of players. If you want to compete. I remember his Crystal Palace days at Patrick Vera team. He played his best football there. At Rivera Crystal Palace. That time. So, we haven't seen the best of Gallagher yet. So, no need for Chester to sell him. He's still a young player. He hardly get injured. Yes. And big teams, you don't sell these kind of players. Players who have the potentials. So, no need for Chester to sell him. And in the future, we are running Helter Skelter to sign him again with big money. Because you remember, Chester, we've been doing that season, seasons. We we'll sell a player and seasons to come or in the future, we are now pushing to sign him again. Meanwhile, we, we, we sold him at the first place. Eki, the same thing. Guy uh, Crystal Palace, the same thing. Now even Solanke, he's on the list of Chelsea strikers, the same thing. So no need for Chelsea to do that again. And that is good from Chelsea come. So let's hope, guys, Chelsea owners don't change their mind at the end of the transfer window and let Gallagher stay. Guys, so that is the first good news. Galaga to stay. So let me hear from you guys. Are you happy? Or will you like Chelsea to sell Galaga? Let me hear from you under the comment section, guys. And let's come to the second good news. But before we go there, guys, please just remind you to subscribe and like this video to go far. At least something tell us will do. Let's come to the second good news, guys. And this is it. Andre Santos is staying at Chelsea next season. One sources are just set. Stylistically, Santos is perfect fit to play under Enzo Maresca. His ball retention is out of this world. He can play as number 6 or number 8. So he is versatile. So guys, that is the second good news. Just to let Santos stay. And this is what we've been talking about. Previous seasons. Previous season. Give the young players the chance. Give them playing time. Let them prove themselves. Injury is part of football. Red cards are part of football. In case any of our first 11 players are absent, these young guys can represent. And they can play well if you are not giving them the chance. So guys, what we've been wishing for, praying for, one chance to do. That is what they're about to do now. And this Santos guy, I remember last season, preseason, he performed well. In fact, he was one of our best players in that preseason. And he went out on loan. He learned a little bit. He had the experience. The England experience, the European experience is now in him. And Brazilians even have good records at Chelsea. So, that is good option. Or that is good decision taken by Chelsea to let him stay for next season. So guys, Santos to stay. Santos will not go out on loan next season. So let's hope this our owners maintain or continue with that decision. And don't change their mind. Because you know, you know this our owners. They can take your feelings high and at the end bring you down. Like Alveta, when we are playing Alveta. The European will, will elevate you, you think you are winning. One second or two seconds later. Bah. So let's hope these owners don't change their mind. So, Santos to stay for Chelsea next season, guys. Do you think Santos still don't have the experience to come and play for Chelsea senior team? Or do you think Chelsea should let him go out on another loan again? Let me hear from you under the comment section, guys. And let's come to another topic, guys. Stubborn Bayern Munich keep on knocking, 
knocking Chelsea door, Chelsea said, guys, we are not selling Liverpool. But Bayern Munich keep on knocking, guys, knocking. To some extent, Chelsea chief himself has to come and represent, say it publicly that we are not selling Liverpool. And this is what Chelsea chief himself said, guys. Chelsea chief have brief club media that Liverpool is not for sale and will not entertain any talk with German Jan Bayern Munich. Londonworld.com has been told the England young star is looking forward to working with new manager Enzo Maresca. So guys, that is the information from Chelsea Chief himself. He informed Bayern Munich that Liverpool is not for sale. Oh guys, is Bayern Munich seeing something that we are not seeing? Because since last season, they are following Liverpool. And this season, they came back initial. Chelsea informed them that, guys, it's not for sale. Still, they keep on knocking Chelsea door. Maybe they see something under the carpet we are not seeing. Maybe Chelsea want to sell Kowi. Oh? <laughs> because how on earth team who own a player tell you that we are not selling our player. You are coming back. Coming back. Let's hope <laughs> Chelsea will not sell Liverpool because we haven't even seen the best of Liverpool. At his Brighton days, he played very well. He performed. In fact, I think he won their best player for the season. His loan spell at Brighton during that season. Yes. So, we haven't seen the best of Liverpool. He's still a young player. <laughs> so, there are still days ahead. So, let's hope Chelsea will not sell Liverpool. And in fact, when I even look at our centre-back position, we still need maybe one centre-back. So, no need for Chelsea to sell him. We need Liverpool. Yes, we need another centre back. Important. So, guys, that is a short information for Liverpool. Bayern Munich want to sign, but Chelsea said they are not selling him. So, let's hope Chelsea maintain that decision. Because this honest for me, eh? guys, I won't lie to you. I don't trust them anymore. The way they did to us uh, during contract. Alvarez or Simen keep on changing things. First, they said deserve now they gave us Mareska. From so for me, until the transfer window close, everything is possible in the hands of these just new owners. They can do miracles. So for me, I don't trust them. I won't lie. I won't lie. I don't trust them. They can do anything. So guys, let's hope they maintain that decision and let Liverpool stay. And just to remind do that uh, contrast situation. In fact, Chelsea still talking to uh, Aston Villa, both the player side and the uh, team the payment structure and the uh, contrast situation for Dura. So, but another information saying that Dura is not the only striker on the list of Chelsea. Chelsea is looking up to so many strikers. Alvarez and Co. Solanke and Co. Their names are still there on the list of Chelsea. Possible strikers to sign. To come and compete with Jackson. So guys, that is why you are reading. Chelsea is still talking to Aston Villa. Just to update you, guys. So that is information for Dura. In fact, Chelsea completed the signing of the young Brazilian from Brazil's Serie B team. But he's not coming to Chelsea direct. Lima is going to Bluco or Strobok. Chelsea uh, other club. Udbule, Klele, Capital, the other club. He's not coming direct to Chelsea. Lima. So guys, that is why we are reading also. But that why it doesn't concern us a lot. Because Chelsea is going to develop him at Strobok. But Rivera trouble. So let's hope. We are wishing him all the best. Just pay 7 million and uh, 2.5 million arounds or what. That is what we are seeing on the screen, guys. So just completed the signing of Lima from Sport Recife or Sport Recife from Brazil to the B team. So guys, that is the information for Lima. And let's come to the next information. In fact, this one, Infinite Athletes. Are you seeing it? Infinite Athletes. They are the favorite to continue with Chelsea to be Chelsea's main share sponsors next season. And let's confirm it, guys. As of today, Athlete is the most likely candidate to continue the 43 million a year share sponsorships. In fact, guys, that is it. Yes, Chelsea is talking to other companies for next season main share sponsorship deal. But as we are speaking now, guys, Athlete or Infinite Athlete is the favorite to continue with Chelsea next season. And Chelsea is taking 43 million from them every season. And apart from City and Liverpool in the Premier League, Chelsea is ending highest main sponsorship deal. Yes, from their uh, main share sponsors. 
Chelsea is ending 43. So apart from Liverpool and Manchester City, Chelsea is the third team to end that highest fee. And this kind of huge contrast doesn't come easily. Mostly when you are competing in Europe or you are playing Champions League football, there you get uh, that big, big contract, 43 million and co. But Chelsea, we are not playing Champions League. But luckily, we are still attracting good offers. And that's what big team do. And that's what good name do. So guys, that is the information for Infinite Athlete. Infinite Athlete may continue. They are the favorite for now, guys. Final decision haven't made. But currently, they are the favorite. So that is the information for Infinite Athlete. Do you like it, guys? Would you like them to continue with Chelsea? Or would you like other companies to come? So guys, let me hear from you under the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this video to go far. Take care. Peace.